Hey, how's it going? I'm furious! Welcome to the most complicated trial in Danganronpa history! Kikichi's not the mastermind! We have no idea if he's alive or dead! Kaito is most definitely dead! But we have no idea who killed him! Was it Maki or was it Kikichi? I'm getting a headache from all this information I have to try and work out! But now is the time to finally find out who ripped my boy Kaito! May you rest in peace, my boy! Atua will look after you now! Hey, hey, hey everyone! Razbowski here and welcome back to Danganronpa V3! And oh, baby! It's finally time to work out who the mastermind is and who is the blackened of the fifth class trial? And I don't know what it is, but I've got this weird feeling down in the pits of my stomach that isn't the breakfast burrito I had that is telling me that today's class trial is gonna be immensely sad. So get the tissues ready. Guys, if you're hyped for this video, then please hit that like button. It really, really is appreciated. Let's shoot for 2,000 beautiful likes. And you already know the deal, ladies and gentlemen. 3,000 beautiful likes on this video, and you'll get the next part even sooner. Because I'm gonna leave it off on a cliffhanger. And if you're feeling extra special spicy hype for today's video, then in the comment section below, type Hashtag hope. And we'll dive straight in, baby. Woo! Okay, then which one of you son of guns is the murderer? Why are you so certain there's even a mastermind to begin with? Actually, yeah, that is a really good point. Obviously, we're going off the previous games, but these guys don't have knowledge of that, do they? What? What do you mean? Why, that's on a need-to-know basis, and you don't need to know. Probably because it's not relevant to this trial, right? But I want to know. Me too, Himiko, me too. The real mastermind is not Kikichi. Who could it be? I was thinking it was Junko Inoshima, but that can't be it. She's dead. We've never come into contact with her. If so, who's done this? Who's planned this killing game? Anyway, this conversation has flown off the rails. Let's get things back on track. Well, Junko Inoshima is obviously going to pop up at some point. This is Danganronpa. She popped up in all the other games before. So she's got to pop up in this one, right? Somewhere? This class trial is to figure out who the culprit is, not the mastermind. Mmm, your railroadness in a different path that we want to take, buddy. So, yeah, get to talking. Okay. Before we worry about who the mastermind is or what my intent is. Yeah, we kind of need to work out who the ripper is. Let's figure out the culprit. Mm -hmm. But Monokuma doesn't know who it is. How is he supposed to confirm the results? We don't need to worry about that. Let's just leave the decision-making to Monokuma. Mm. But you gotta run the class trial, too. So no mistakes. Okay. What? Are you trying to get me to do something? Yeah, buddy. What are you gonna do? You've been watching us solve all these cases. But you can't be a spectator anymore. Wait, is he gonna join in? You're gonna participate in the class trial from here on out. Oh, that is interesting. Huh? So, let's resume this class trial. Monokuma, you gotta use your brain, too. Use your brain, big boy! This will be the final class trial! Me versus Monokuma! Okay! You versus Monokuma? Exactly! When I play a game, I intend to win. Oh, okay. But what's considered winning in this game? Beating the other players? No beating the master. No. Beating the game's mastermind is the true victory. I don't like your style, and boy. That's how I'll win. That's why I decided to challenge Monokuma. Hmm. If I can deceive Monokuma till the very end, then I'll be the winner. Okay. You're dragging us around like this? Just so you can win a game? But it's not a game. It's life and death, girl. As I suspected. Your thought process defies all logic. <laughs> but since the outside world is in total ruin, this game is the only entertainment we have. At least I can enjoy this game to the fullest and feel good winning. But then what do you get from it? You really are a remnant of despair. Your way of thinking is just chaotic. Remnant of despair? Eh, whatevs. Let's just get this started. Why does he not know what a remnant of despair is? Because he keeps- If the students or Monokuma don't know who the culprit is, then I'm the winner. Don't underestimate me, or Shuichi and the others for that matter. Oh, thank you, thank you very much for the compliment, bud. What? <laughs> it's just like a remnant of despair to try to assume control of the game. But these kids are all that's left of Hope's Peak Academy. If you think they're gonna make this easy for you, you better think again. Hell yeah. Whose side are you taking here? Side? Isn't it obvious? Monokuma joins your party! Oh, really? I don't want you! Monokuma, ultimate despair headmaster, I don't want you! Who invited you? Not me! Now, let's join forces and unravel the 
truth behind this case. Hold up a second. You saying I've got to join forces with you? Monokuma? For a start, you got a sticky out belly button, which kind of grosses me out. And the second of all, you're the you're you you're a bad man or bad bear. Yeah, I don't even care about assuming your species. You're a bad person, bad bear person. Well, we were going to do it anyway. Yeah. Let's just ignore Monokuma. His actions are always beyond comprehension. <laughs> Look at how blasé he looks. Yeah. Let's just focus on the case. Let's do it. Hey, be quiet so we can ignore you. Now, where should we start? We've already established what Kokichi is after. He's just gonna keep talking anyway, isn't he? Yeah. In my experience, whenever you learn a new fact, you learn something else along with it. Okay. Yes, let's look for that. Yes, you're, you're joining him, Kibo? You warmed up to him real fast. I guess you are both robots. That's robophobic! So another truth comes out. That piece of evidence makes more sense now. The evidence that I couldn't wrap my head around. Okay, well, oh no, okay. Okay, safety function. Uh, what else have we got here? There's gotta be something in here that we can use. It's gotta be the murder video because there's still some stuff around that we this don't get. It. Yeah, there's still some things about the murder video I just don't understand. Let's discuss the video of Kaito being crushed by the hydraulic press. I think he was gone before it got crushed. He said that he filmed that video to prove he was not the victim. Mm-hmm. But we know that Kokichi was trying to mislead Monokuma. So what about the video? Why did he show us it? It's pretty strange to present evidence that condemns you after all. Then what kind of mistake was Kokichi trying to get me to make? To make it a... Oh, what was he? Maybe he crushed Kaito with a hydraulic press. So the cause of death would be unknown? But if that were the only objective, there would be no need to film it. I think it was because it was Kaito. Kaito did it to himself, and then he's trying to make it look like it wasn't Kaito. Discovering the crushed body would have been enough. No need to show us the film. That's true. I guess you're starting to fit in after all. You get any cuter, I'm gonna hug you. Himiko! Huh? Really? <laughs> there must be a reason you went out of your way to show us the body being crushed. No reason, really. That's just my twisted personality. Really? And you're lying again, Kuhishi. There's a method to your madness. If you wanted Murakuma to make a mistake, then showing us the video, it must have something to do with trying to fool Monokuma. Taking the video of the murder, but keeping the victim's identity hidden? What does it show? What doesn't 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 it show? V... W... Hmm... What can't be identified even after watching the video of the dead body? Oh! The, the person who died! The, uh, the person who died! So it would be... What, what letter? Oh, there's a V there! It's gotta be victim! It's gotta be the victim! Oh, yes! Oh, yes! Oh! So it could've been Kikichi still! It could've still been Kikichi that went! The victim! The victim isn't... So it could still be Kikichi's body under there! But how? How? How could that have worked? Huh? Is it even possible? No, that's a question for later. For now, we know that... If you show the moment of Kaito's death, of course it would lead us to believe he died. Right? Even if we can't positively identify the body, we would still believe Kaito was the victim. And that might be exactly the mistake Kokichi was going for. Ah, oh, this is genius! This is genius! So Kaito could still be alive? Does that mean the victims were switched? I suppose, in, in theory... Until we saw... Unless we examined Kikichi's body, we don't know he's taken the antidote. He could have just easily pretended to just throw Maki off and given it to Kaito. Switched? What? Then it was some other dead body that got crushed by the hydraulic press? Yeah, Kikichi's, but how did they swap it? That's what I want to know. How did they swap it over? Was it some sort of camera trick? What? Where would he even get another body? Kikichi's? There should be plenty to choose from if you reuse the body of a former victim. Yeah, that's if true. If there was an unknown body, then we could guess the victim was switched. <laughs> but too bad. Switching the victims was impossible. It was? Uh, uh, yeah, probably. Wait a minute, there's got to be a point where you could probably switch them out, right? There! 
There, the there, there. showed the body being crushed. But there was a pause. There was a pause in the footage. So could you have stopped the camera or paused the camera? And then the body was hidden at that point. When in the footage would they have been able to switch the victim? When there was a pause in the, um, the, 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 the hydraulic press going down. And we already established that the footage was not doctored in any way. But could you have paused it? The camera doesn't have any editing functions. Just yes! play, record, and pause. Pause! Monokuma also said that no computer was used to edit the footage. But you can Remember? pause. Damn it! Me and my big mouth! <laughs> Which means switching out the victim would not be possible. Mm. Also, if the victim was switched, then that would mean Kaito is still alive. We already discussed this so many times. The chance of that happening is impossible. It might be possible. Why? Huh? There could be a trick to make the switch possible. We just haven't noticed it yet. I think the camera was paused. Oh, and what trick is that? Mm -hmm. See? You don't know, do you? I already said it's impossible. Maki's not wrong. There is a way it could be done. So we can't just give up here. Hey, Shuichi. I'll think harder about this as well. Yeah, please do, because it's probably going to clear your 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 life here. Thank you. So, can you confirm whether or not the victim switched places? I mm, I can speculate. Kaito is alive or not? I can speculate. Maki. I don't like the thought that I killed Kaito. I don't want that. Oh, Maki, please. Okay, then. Let's talk about the possibility that Maki will mention. Yeah. Himiko. If you call her that again... Mm. Yes, please. Oh. Oh, uh, okay. Then let's all talk it over together. Yes, let's do that, Sumugi. Together. Okay, 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 here we go, here we go, here we go. And don't forget, you're not alone. Don't try to do everything yourself. It's only gonna wear you out. When times are hard, you gotta rely on your friends. Oh, just, oh, please tell me yeah, it's alive. I'm sure we'll figure something out. Hell yeah. Jeez, you guys are a stubborn bunch. There's no trick. Yes, there is. That's probably another lie. Thanks, Monokuma. <laughs> However, if the victims were switched, then that would mean the footage was altered. Mm-hmm. How could it have been altered when we know that the footage wasn't edited? Pause! If we could figure that out, maybe we'd know how they switched places. I knew there was a trick to that video the whole time. Oh, yeah? Then why didn't you say so? Okichi made it, so it's 100% suspicious. <laughs> a trick to that video. Yes, 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 yes. Here we go, here we go. Wait, when it pauses, there's a slight... M there, there, that pause. That pause there. That's what it is. What could it be? What's suspicious about it? The pause. Okay, okay, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Right. Now we just gotta fit it in the, the correct place. We've got the correct truth bullet here. Hydraulic press, Kaito's got electro bomb, murder video. Okay, I'm gonna see hydraulic press. Trick to that video. I think there is. I think there is. You all gotta figure out. Yep. Come on, show. No trick. Show me what I need. Show me what I need, Bobby. Check, but there's no editing function in that camera. Right. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, I agree. Does that camera seem suspicious to any of you? Mm. The filming angle seemed unnatural, don't you think? Yes, it did. It definitely I've did. Seen in that video. Was it really Kaito? Um, I think I might have to agree with Samugi. off about that video to me. Yeah, what? When the hydraulic press stopped for a brief moment. Yes, 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 I agree! Oh, no! I agree with you. That the video was shot at another location? No, 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 no. right ideas? I think I agree with Keyboy with... Do I do I do I agree with the hydraulic press? Something seems off about that video to me. Yes, yes, yes. Here we go. Here we go. Hydraulic press stop. Yes, yes, yes. No, no. I need that. I need that. I need that. I'm just gonna shoot it underneath. There we go. Thank you. I wanted I the V agree. I wanted the V agree, but there was too many things on. I didn't have time. But there we go. We got it. I knew it. I knew that pause. It's that pause. Kibo is on to something. Isn't it weird that the hydraulic press stopped for a second? Exactly. And the way the angle is for the camera, you can't see the body when it pauses. Because when Kibo and I first investigated that hydraulic press... It just moved slowly down the whole time. And he rolls out. Stop, drop, and roll! Ha ha ha, Kibo! Yes, that's right. The hydraulic press kept lowering itself without stopping. But in the video... There was a jutter, a pause. It stopped dead just when you no longer saw the arm as... No, no, so you could see the arm. They positioned it really well, though. 
to get the arm in exactly the, the same place. Press stopped briefly, right before it crushed the body. Exactly. But why would it stop? So they could switch the booties. Why did it stop? There's only one reason I can think of to switch the bodies. Mind my. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So they can switch the body. I don't under. Okay, fine. I'll solve this. Emergency stop button, right? M gotta be the emergency stop button. Thank you very much. I see it. Ooh, yeah, solving all the crimes, baby. We're getting there. We're really getting there here. The only way to stop the hydraulic press is the force stop button. And that would pause it in exactly the same position, so they wouldn't have to worry about it going back up, up, and, and, and then having to put it back in exactly the same place. An electro bomb went off in the hangar, which would have interfered with the safety function. There'd be no way to stop the hydraulic press unless someone used the force stop button. When you say someone, you mean Kokichi, right? He was the only one there. Had to have been. Hmm, actually, maybe I pressed it by accident. I don't really remember. Really? So what of it? The press only stopped for like a sec. You can't switch the victim in such a short time, can you? Um, what? That's true. No, uh, my boy rolled out earlier on. There's also the question of how the bodies got switched while the camera was rolling. Pause, the pause. That would have clearly been caught on camera. While the camera was still rolling. Oh, I see. It wasn't just the press that stopped. Huh? Huh? What do you mean? The pause, come on! If you stop something else at the same time you stop the hydraulic press. Yes, I see it now. That's that's how the bodies were stretched. If you stop that, you could easily have swapped the bodies. Time to use all my skills to find the camera. Pause that camera real quick, baby, and uh, let me have my face up front. <laughs> we're pretty damn good the at this game. Stop the video camera at the same time as the hydraulic press. It was absolutely genius. Then. While the camera was off, they switched the body under the hydraulic press. After the body was swapped, the press and the camera were started simultaneously. So it just looks like the press stopped for a moment. Brilliant. Brilliant. That's really That's good. That's what I've been saying this whole time! No, no you've not! When did you ever say that? Yeah, not even once. You didn't even allude to that. So they stopped at the same time. The camera position did seem odd to me. But now I get it. The trick wouldn't work unless it was set up there. Exactly, because you needed to hide the body completely. Huh? Why? Hide the body. To get the trick we just described to work, the camera had to be set up precisely. Let's pin that down. Where was the camera set up? Uh, up above, okay. So, oh, okay, so we got the, where's the hydraulic press in location to ever? So the hydraulic press is up there. It must have been set up over here, right by it, because they needed to press the button at exactly the same time. There. The two buttons, they obviously, they, they needed to stretch across. They couldn't have done it if it was set at the back of the room. The video camera must have been set up somewhere around here. Right beside the buttons, because they could have stopped the press and paused it at the same time, and they could have started it back up as well. Obviously, uh, Kikichi stopped it, and Kaito started it back up. To operate the press and the camera at the same time, it would have to be near the switch. This is a genius. That's why the video was taken from that unnatural angle. If they were recording it like normal, they would have used a better angle. Yeah, they would have wanted to see the juicy goodness. And if it was recorded at such an odd angle, then that proves the trick was used. Camera angles, huh? Looks like your cosplayer experience is finally useful. <laughs> well, Savage. Well, cosplay doesn't really come up all that much in class trials. Hmm, that's true. There was a reason the camera was set up there, but also a reason for the height. So you could hide the body. Had to be the hide body, right? When the press was stopped. You couldn't really see who was inside it, correct? Correct. That was intentional. The body is mostly hidden by the press, making the swap easier. The camera must have been placed at such a high position so it would produce that angle. I wonder if they used that tripod in the hangar to adjust the camera's height. Did they get that from the warehouse too? Jeez, that place is like a 4D pocket. Like Mary Poppins' bag. You don't get to make that reference. <laughs> then, that logic is correct, right? Seems that way. Kikichi used that video angle trick, 
and switch the victim in the hydraulic press. In that case, Kaito is... Alive. Before he was crushed by the press, he was swapped with a different body. Mm -hmm. so Kaito's still alive. Apparently. Well, wait just a minute. He's un unless uh, only only if he's taking the antidote, he'd be dead otherwise. What? But I just summed it up so nicely. No, <laughs> oh, don't don't sound so broken. Kiko, the different body you mentioned. What are you talking about? Yeah. The bodies from the other cases. Hokichi's the mastermind, so he. No, he's not. <laughs> wait, the mastermind? Yeah. Yeah, Kokichi isn't the mastermind, so I don't think he'd be able to produce a body to switch out. He used his own. What? Well, Monokuma, do the rules allow for a body to be reused? Very well. I'll answer that. Please do, baby. You're giving in pretty easily. It's to make a class trial fair, son. Sit down. Well, it's crucial information to make the trial fair. Thank you. This discussion is pointless. If it's not clear what the culprit was allowed to do, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're a convenient mastermind, but I guess that makes defeating you worth my time. Mm -hmm. Now then, regarding the reuse of a dead body. Well, go back to the first game for that one. That is impossible. All the dead bodies have already been thrown away. What do you mean thrown away? Thrown away? The other bodies are gone? Then who did Kaido switch places with? Mm. Is nobody listening? Kikichu and Kaido were the only ones in the hangar at that time. If they were the only ones present during the body swapping trig, then the real victim was the two people who were switching the, 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 the other person in the hangar. Why, why, why is this so difficult to grasp for someone? If it wasn't an old body, it could only be... What's wrong, Shuichi? Who did Kaido switch places with? Have a think. Maki. I think I missed something very important here. Mm hmm Something important? If I have the timeline right, there were only two people in the hangar at that time, which means that something had to be decided before. I have to pin that down. Can't let anything escape me this time. What? What, we got Hangman's Gambit? Another one? What the hell? The victim helped. The victim helped. That's exactly what happened there. Jiminy Christmas. Well, we knew that all along, didn't we? We've been saying that for a while. Look this. Don't have a heart attack. What do you mean? There were only two people in the hangar at the time the bodies were swapped. Which means they were working together. Yep. They were working together to try and uh, root out the mastermind. Huh? Working together? The only two people involved in the swap were the victim and the culprit. It's genius. It's absolute genius. The culprit was operating the camera and the hydraulic press while the victim lay inside. If they switched places while the press and the camera were stopped, then they could easily set up this trick. Then the person who turned the camera and the press back on was the original victim. To put it simply, both people operated the press and camera at different times. An impossible trick, unless the victim and culprit agreed to cooperate beforehand. Yeah, which is what we've been saying. The culprit cooperated? Is that even possible? Well, obviously, because they didn't want Mackie to be accused of being the Ripper, and they wanted to root out the mastermind, okay? So... They used this because they were both dying. One or the other was going to go bye bye because there obviously wasn't enough antidote for both of them. So one could only one could take it and the other one couldn't. So that means that Shuichi must have given Kaito the boy uh, the antidote instead. So he faked drinking it. It sounds bizarre, but perhaps that was the whole point. Commit a crime that was so confusing, even Monokuma would be tricked. This is very confusing. Jeez. This culprit's a real jerk. <laughs> so, have you realized who done it yet? Mm. The culprit of the case. If my detective work hasn't failed me, the culprit is inside that exosal. That means it's it can only be them. It has to be Kaito. What? Are you sure? Is it really? It has to be. Are they actually inside it? Or is, is Kaito the current victim we saw in the video was Kaito, which means means that Kaito switched out for Kikichi. 
Kokichi was operating the hydraulic press and camera. At first, if the two of them switched while the press was stopped, then the culprit who started the hydraulic press again and crushed Kokichi. This Kaito, which may, means he's the Ripper. Must be Kaito. Oh no, Space Boy! So, the person inside that Exosol isn't Kokichi. It has to be Kaito. Well, he's done a really good impression of uh, uh, my boy Kokichi this whole time. What did you say? You heard me, little one. So, the culprit for this case is Kaito Momota. That is what the ultimate detective has deduced, right? I think so. Kaito is the culprit? What? You're joking, right? You can't be serious. I never joke. I don't want to believe it either. But it's the only way any of this makes sense. My detective work has led me to the conclusion that Kaito is the culprit. No. Is that true? Is Kaito really in there? Hey, answer us! If you really are Kaito, then... I'm the culprit. What? What? Huh? There's just no way that Kaito can still be alive. Because I'm the culprit. No! Wait, you? But didn't you say- I saw it with my own eyes. So what with your own eyes? Kokichi drank the antidote that he stole from Kaito. There's no doubt Kaito died. And he died because of my poison arrow. But you told us you didn't want to kill Kaito and- Yes, I never wanted to. I wanted to believe that I didn't kill him. But the truth speaks differently. In the end, I was just running away from the facts. Huh? I don't understand. Maki, are you trying to protect Kaito? If he's the culprit, you're trying to help him get away? There was only one antidote. So it's more likely he died from my poison arrow. This is the truth. It's not decided yet. I could have still killed him with the hydraulic press. Either way, those are the two options. Monokuma knows the answer, right? Huh? Are those the only options? Hmm. I guess that's how things turned out. Wait, what? No, that can't be. The person in that exosol is... It's not Kaito. I saw Kokichi drink the antidote. There's no mistake. Kaito is dead. No, there is a mistake. I... Killed Kaito. There is absolutely no doubt. That's the truth. Ah, I thought so. Maki is trying to protect Kaito. I understand how she feels, but if Kaito is the culprit, why why did he agree to Kikichi's plan? I can't imagine Kaito would do something so selfish. There must be a reason for it. I truly believe that. But I have to get to the bottom of this before I can uncover the truth. But, Maki, you don't know for certain that Kokichi drank the antidote. Exactly. What? You saw him drink it right in front of you, but you couldn't confirm he actually did it. So maybe there's another possibility. He faked it. What it are you talking about? He faked drinking it. He mimed impossible. it. That's impossible. No. No, it's there not. There's no other possibility. I killed Kaito! No, you need to chill! You need to chill right now, young lady! Put that scary- Oh, Jiminy Christmas, I've got to battle you, really? I killed Kaito! No, you didn't. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. You're the one who's wrong. I'm never wrong! Come on, go, 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 Take her out, take her out. This is it, this is it. Take her out, but take I her out. I run away from the truth anymore. Take her out, there we go. I'll see you later. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. I saw Kokichi drink the antidote. Pretended to drink the antidote. It ends here. I knew it, I knew he pretended to drink I... the antidote. Oh, put some clothes on you, you assassin. Nasty assassin. Put some clothes Kokichi on. Kokichi just pretended to drink the antidote. He didn't actually drink it. Oh. He pretended? Yes, he, he did. Drank it? He did. Drinking the antidote was part of his lie. Oh, man, this is going to be heartbreaking to find out why he did it and to find out he probably wasn't a snake after all. Maki could only see so much through the window. She didn't confirm Kokichi drank it. I believe that Kokichi knew this and just pretended to drink the antidote. Clever son of a gun. After Maki left, he gave the antidote to Kaito. It's crazy. This is crazy. This There's class a trial. strong possibility that all of this was done 
to make Kaito cooperate. Make him cooperate? You'd save his life. The swapping trick required the victim and culprit to work together. Kaito's cooperation was essential to Kokichi's plan. However, I don't think Kokichi would be able to sway Kaito easily. He needed leverage. He gave Kaito the antidote in exchange for his cooperation. Save his life, help him out. In exchange for his own life, you mean? Kaito had no choice. He had to cooperate after Kokichi saved his life. That's just Kaito's character. And Kokichi knew that. He swallowed his pride with the antidote and agreed to participate in Kokichi's plan. But didn't Kokichi make this plan? What good is it for him if he's dead? I imagine this was all part of Kokichi's plan to confuse us. You wouldn't think that someone would plan their own murder. He went so far as to give up his life just to create this mystery? Only Kokichi could think of something so nefarious. Who else would agree to die? just to execute their plan. That's crazy. Why would he go that far? I bet Kokichi was determined to beat me at my own game, no matter what. But too bad, Shuichi figured out the truth. Truth? Are you sure it's not delusion? Hmm? Huh? Delusion? A delusion completely off the mark to make you think that I die. What? But who cares what you guys think? This is between me and Monokuma. I don't give a crap if the extras in this game get it right or not. Excuse me? Extras? I'm fine with being an extra. <laughs> huh? Why? Exactly. If we're just extras, then even if we get it wrong, we won't get killed. No, I'd still kill you all. <laughs> don't put Kokichi's words in my mouth. <laughs> being so friendly with us if monokuma gets it right then he takes everyone's lives yeah oh uh -huh. but if monokuma gets it wrong then he'd have no right to take everyone's lives if monokuma doesn't know who the culprit is then this killing game can't function anymore oh can't function anymore kaito i believe in you good man mm -hmm. If you're cooperating with this plan, you must have a reason. To determine that reason, I need to reveal the truth! I still think Kaito is the culprit. Thinking of it that way makes all the pieces fit. I will show you the truth. The truth you can't deny. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's put all the pieces of the puzzle together. Close an argument, baby. Let's do this. I'm going to put it all together and I'm going to have a good time doing it. This will be my final truth. And now it's time for the final piece of the puzzle, baby! And it all this is the truth of the case. Comes together. Here we go. Let's go over the trick that Kokichi and the culprit created together. This is perfect. Last night, Kibo saw Himiko from the window of his lab. She was carrying a black case and heading to the Exosol hangar. When she reached the hangar, she handed the case to someone through the bathroom window. That someone is the culprit of this case. Locked in the bathroom, the culprit had asked Himiko to bring them a certain weapon. Was he trying to break out at this point? crossbow from Maki's lab. The culprit was going to use the crossbow to challenge Kokichi to a fight. Yeah, that makes sense. Originally, he was going to try and break out himself. Things changed Some real quick. passed, and Maki made her way to the hangar. She was going to the hangar to kill Kokichi and save the culprit trapped in the bathroom. However, the hangar had an electric barrier preventing her from entering. Fortunately for her, she had an electro hammer to get around the barrier, in a way. She's an assassin, man. She used her electro hammer to disable an exosol and climbed inside. It's pretty genius when you she think about it. She exosols could bypass the barrier, so she got inside one. You definitely don't want to mess with her because she really is the ultimate assassin. Jiminy Christmas. Around that time, the culprit and Kokichi began their confrontation. While Kokichi was checking up on them, the culprit ambushed him with a crossbow. But the culprit didn't intend to kill Kokichi. They just wanted to disable him.
That's why the culprit aimed for Kokichi's right arm. If they really wanted to kill him, they would have shot him in his vitals. Kokichi reeled from the arrow, and the culprit jumped on him immediately. He didn't want Kokichi to have the chance to summon an Exosol with a remote. Clever, Kaito. While they were fighting, something happened that caught them both off guard. The Exosol popping through. Hello, Puppet. The shutter of the hangar opened, and an Exosol stepped inside. Kokichi was definitely not expecting an Exosol to interrupt them. He pulled out his remote in an attempt to control the Exosol. But before he could do that... But Maki leaped out of the cockpit and shot Kokichi with her crossbow. Mm, savage. Right in the, the back! The arrow hit Kokichi right in the back. And it was no normal arrow. The tip was covered in a lethal poison from my lab called Strike 9 Poison. Oh dear. The poison kills slowly. It seems as if Maki wanted Kokichi to confess before he died. But even with poison in his veins, Kokichi continued to spin his lies. Fine till the end, man. When she had had enough, Maki tried to finish him off with another poisoned arrow. But the brave boy... But this time, Maki was the one caught by surprise. As brave boy Kaitos... Oh. To keep Maki from becoming the blackened, the culprit used their body to shield Kokichi. The culprit's left arm was struck by a poison arrow. Maki remembered that there was an antidote in my lab and immediately ran off to get it. The Strike Knight poison slowly circulated through their systems and would soon kill them both. But in that desperate situation, Kokichi thought up a clever lie. He incorporated this unforeseen event into his plan to help him win the killing game. Or should I say, help him defeat Monokuma. That was Kokichi's true objective. It's why he claimed to be the mastermind. Ah, he is clever. Thinking fast, Kokichi closed the shutter so that Maki could not re-enter the hangar. Thus, Kokichi's final lie was set into motion. When Maki returned with the antidote, she couldn't get back inside the hangar. So she went around to the hangar bathroom and passed the antidote through the window. But after the culprit was given the antidote, Kokichi immediately snatched it. Kokichi drank down all of the antidote while the culprit and Maki watched in horror. <laughs> Maki must have been panicking thinking the only antidote was now gone. She believed that the culprit was going to die from her own poisoned arrow, but it was all another one of Kokichi's lies. He had only pretended to drink the antidote. I left the lid on. Maki tried desperately to break into the hangar, even slashing the control panel. But she couldn't get the shutter to open again. Defeated, she had no choice but to leave. Maki. After Maki had left, Kokichi took out another weapon. An electrobomb capable of disabling communication devices for hours. Kokichi's plan was to use an electrobomb to knock out Monokuma's surveillance cameras. Clever boy. That was why he commissioned Mew to make the bombs in the first place. Clever, clever boy. After detonating an electrobomb, Kokichi coerced the culprit into drinking the antidote. In exchange for the antidote, Kokichi asked the culprit to cooperate with his plan. Kokichi needed to work with the culprit to execute his final lie. Under normal circumstances, the culprit would never have agreed to such a plan. But because the culprit owed him for saving their life, they agreed to Kokichi's request. There must be something else to it. Ah, request is a generous term. It was more like blackmail. <laughs> in any case, the two were now working together as accomplices in an insane plan. 
insanely beautiful there was though. a lot to prepare and not a lot of time they had to work fast if Kokichi died from the strike nine poison the whole plan would be ruined oh yeah because then it would have been Maki would have been the Ripper after fabricating the scene in the bathroom the culprit dragged Kokichi to the hydraulic press this is how the swipe pattern blood stain from the bathroom to the press was created. Kokichi, with the support of the culprit, stood in front of the press's control panel. The two of them were finally ready to execute the insane lie. This is nuts. While Kokichi was setting up the video camera near the hydraulic press's control panel, the culprit laid face up inside the press draping their coat over their shoulders. Then, Kokichi activated the press and the camera's record button at the same time. There must have been some trust from Kaito for all this to work, though, wasn't there? The some trust. Press came down slowly, all caught on tape for us to see. Normally, the safety function would have triggered, but the electrobomb had disabled it. The press got lower and lower, and just as the culprit disappeared from view, stop that. And they could Kokichi swap over. Press the four stop button and the camera's pause button simultaneously. Tell you what, we did. We we did well to work out this trial, because we did really well. Probably my best one. The two then switched places, and also switched roles. And got naked apparently. The culprit and the victim. The would-be victim became our culprit and started up the press and camera. Kokichi had saved the culprit's life because his trick required their cooperation. Oh dear. Oh no, Kaito. He mm. wanted to win the killing game, even if it meant dying himself. This is horrible. Absolutely horrible. So, Kokichi was crushed by the press and the whole thing was caught on video. The culprit's left sleeve was dangling from the press, making us think he was the victim. Now alone, the culprit collected the video camera and tore the hydraulic press's power cord so that it could never be raised again. You m angry muscle man! This would make it impossible for us to determine the identity of the crushed body. Good. But there was another reason the victim was killed in this way. It obfuscated the cause of death, making the case that much more difficult to solve. This was all part of Kokichi's plan to create a murder not even Monokuma could figure out. My lord. With the press disabled, the culprit returned to the bathroom to flush Kokichi's clothes. Finally, they climbed inside of an exosaw to hide and waited with bated breath. And here they are now in this trial, pretending to be Kokichi. Oh. They're trying to deceive Monokuma in order to defeat the true mastermind. And that's it. That's Kokichi's unidentified culprit trick. Well, we worked it out. But we've foiled this plan at the same time, haven't we? Oh boy. Why is he jumping across with his crotch like that? The culprit is in that exosol. It's you, isn't it? Kaito Momota, the ultimate astronaut. Oh no. We've worked it out, but that means Kaito's gone by by now as well. Oh dear. I'm right, aren't I? That's you in there, isn't it, Kaito? Really? Is it really, Kaito? Yeah, I think so. I must reluctantly agree with Shuichi's deduction. Man! Shuichi sure loves his crazy deductions! Huh? You're still not gonna admit it? Admit it? But it's wrong. How is it wrong? But logically speaking, his deduction tracks. If it's really Kaito in there, he would have admitted it by now. Would he? Was Shuichi's reasoning wrong somehow? No! No, my detective work was flawless! It is the truth! I'm sure that Kaito is inside that exosal! So why is Kaito still fighting me? Is this about Monokuma, or is there another aspect to this? You claim everything is set, and that's it. 
You don't have any evidence, do you? Hmm? Wait, what? Come on, there's gotta be something. There's gotta be something we've missed. What have we missed? You all think the body was switched when the hydraulic press stopped for a moment. But that's just speculation in the end. No evidence to back it up. So if we reverse our reverse way of thinking, then it's likely I didn't do anything, right? It's totally possible that the body switching never happened and Kaito is dead. Well, get out of the exercise. That's the easiest way to prove it. Not just possible. It's the actual truth. I, I can't trust a thing. I, I don't know. I don't know who to trust. Well, it's true. There's no proof that the bodies were switched. Except the fact that someone's inside the exercise. Just make them get out. No, we should trust Shuichi's deduction. I'm sure everything will be okay. This emotion I've learned, I believe you call it faith. That's what I feel right now. That's right. We have to believe in Shuichi. There's a lot of pressure you're putting on me here, guys. Well, I don't care either way. But if you guys get it wrong, you'll have to deal with Monokuma. Mm. What will the results of this voting time be? If oh, Monokuma dear. makes a mistake, he won't be able to execute anyone, right? That's true. Then it will be my victory. And that will ruin the entire killing game. Ruin? I see. So that's your objective. You mean to ruin the killing game itself? That's why Kaito's been so stubborn this whole time. But what does he mean by ruin exactly? Monokuma can do whatever he wants to the rules. How do you ruin something like that? What would be the point? Monokuma, start the voting already. Yeah, yeah, I'm getting to it. Sheesh. Let's proceed with voting time, shall we? Sorry I fell short of your expectations, but I'm pretty sure I won't make any mistakes. Okay. Because I got the ultimate detective's airtight logic on my side. Unless... Unless this whole time they've been wanting me to be tricked. So when I put forward all my arguments and using all the evidence and stuff like that, it's to trick Monokuma into making the wrong decision because Monokuma's obviously going to believe what I'm saying. Now I know the, the whole truth and why. I believe in my own logic and I believe in Kaito. From this point on, it's, it's not about logic. It's, it's about how far I'm willing to go. I believe in you, Kaito. Not as a detective, but as Shuichi Sayahara. Uh, can I just say something? I'd like to have one last conversation before we vote. Okay, okay, big dog. Hmm? One last conversation? There's... More to talk about? Come on, Shuichi, do it. You see, before we vote, there's something I have to say. I just need you all to listen. Do it. Do it, do it, do it. What we got here? What, what, what? I've got a non-stop debate. What do I have to do? Let me have a look at the truth bullets. What are going to go to Kikichi's disappearance murder right, video? Let's pin this down. Okay. Who is inside that exosaw? Okay. Hmm? Kaito, right? That's what we're That's thinking. What you said, isn't it? Yes. Kokichi's the one who died. Right. But is Kaito standing right there? Okay. Isn't that correct? I think so. <laughs> of course not. I would never die. Okay. I trust Yuichi. Mm -mm 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 -mm. What is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? <laughs> Kaito is trying to ruin the game. That's why he's hiding the truth. I don't know exactly why, but he's putting his life on the line for it. So to put my faith in him, this is the only way. Everything that we've determined up to now, what if I turned it all on his head? Yes. I need to lie. All right. Oh, Let's okay. Okichi's the one who died. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Lie bullet. There we go. Now, now, v lie. V lie. V lie, baby. Oh, the truth. Oh, my V perjury is coming through. Let's do this. Kokichi, I'm sorry. I just can't lie for you anymore. Yes, Shuichi. Yes, this is the big plan. You wanted me to reveal the truth and then mess it all up at the end. What? what do you mean, lie? Why did you say Kokichi? The one in the Exosol is- I'm so sorry, everyone. I've deceived you all. <laughs> oh, this is good. Huh? The truth is, after we found the crushed body, I saw Kokichi. Wow. You saw Kokichi? Oh. Yes. He threatened me, told me that if I didn't do what he said, he'd kill us all. He wanted me to lie about what I saw so that the trial would be more interesting. <laughs> but I can't do it anymore. 
I can't keep lying like this. I have to tell the truth. Kokichi isn't dead. He's alive. My boy, my boy, my boy, my boy! Hold on! Why did you wait until now to mention this? I'm so sorry, Kibo, but it's true. Really? I really am sorry, but this is the only way. Kaito is trying to fool Monokuma, trying to ruin the class trial. If Kaito is risking his life to do this, then I'll stand by him. I believe in Kaito. I will believe in what he's trying to do. He's not doing this to hurt us. I'm sure he's trying to save us all. If Monokuma wants to rely on my detective work, fine. I'll just lie. Everyone, please. Don't vote for Kaito. There's no doubt about it. Kokichi is in that exosol. He's the culprit. Hey, Shuichi. I don't know what you're scheming. Hmm? But as far as I'm concerned, you guys aren't extras at all. Oh, bless you, Monokuma. If you guys are wrong, you're gonna have to take your punishments like champs. Got it? Do it. Hmm. I'm not wrong. We can't vote for Kaito. Stop it. That's enough. Huh? What? It's over. What? Oh. If you guys get it wrong and Monokuma gets it right, then you'll all get punished. There's no way I can let that happen. No, oh, you brave son of a god. You still got your slippers on. Well, on that massive cliffhanger, ladies and gentlemen, Papa Raz is going to leave it off there. I'm sorry. I really am sorry. But if you want to see the next video tomorrow, if we can hit 3,000 beautiful likes on this video before I launch it, then I will have this next part out tomorrow. And you can see the finale of this trial. Bring those tears because you already know it's going to be sad as hell. I'm really sorry. I really am. But Papa has to work and these videos take a long time to do. But anyway, I'll see you tomorrow if you hit that goal. I've been Raspowski. You've been the beautiful Raspberries as always for watching. And I love each and every single one of you. Goodbye.